The Shreveport Classic started with two things, pouring rain and a Northwestern State touchdown. But after the rain stopped, it was grambling, pouring on the offense. How about 41 points for the Tigers in the first half alone? More than Grambling scored in an entire game last season. That's why I'm here. You know, I came here to change the culture. Um, and to me, culture changers is winning, right? And is watching phases of our football team be better than they were a year ago. And so I think that's starting to happen. We got our butts kicked up over our shoulders the week before. Let's just be honest. I mean, we knew we had a lot of work to do. And uh, we left, uh, you know, Jonesboro, Arkansas, licking our wounds and came back and understood that that's not who we wanted to be. And everybody made a, a conscious effort and a decision that we were going to change it. And we did. You know, now can we make the next step? you know, and get better before we play our next game. We have to start fashioning what we have as we start to move forward. Um, but the guys did. They they found their, their rhythm. The quarterback started playing really well and looked like everything was going there for a second. But again, you know, it's kind of hit and miss. And I, I want us to be hitting all the time. So we got to get better. Before tonight, the last time Grambling and Northwestern State met was back in 2018, where Brad Laird picked up his first win as NSU's head coach. Fast forward four years later, now it's Hugh Jackson picking up his first victory against the Demons. Reporting here at Independence Stadium, I'm Sam Rothman.